let's talk a little about the homework and about Thursday's test, making some changes. I don't want you to think that I'm just doing stuff at random or messing with you. So the test, this was a Canvas announcement, but again, it's kind of unfortunate that if you're signed up for Canvas announcements, you get everything. So I don't know if you saw these announcements or if they were hidden in the idle wave of new homework being posted. Um, so, I was planning, and I'm still planning, to give you something in the class Thursday, and to have you do something over the weekend or Friday, if you prefer, as a take-home exam. And again, I want to explain my reasoning here. I obviously don't want it to seem like I'm just messing with you. What are the advantages of this? Well, the first advantage some of you won't care about because not everyone in this room is taking calculus free, but having some in-class exams um, for online students, it will be proctored. I've posted an announcement about that, but it will provide continuity for students who are going on to take calculus free. Um, because calculus three, that's taught by a different professor, that's taught by Mr. Vogel, and he always does stuff either in class or proctored. And I felt a little bad about the last group of calculus students I sent through to him. I think they were surprised when they got in calculus three and found it was being assessed in a totally different way. So I think it will be healthy to have some assessment done like Mr. Vogel likes doing it. Um, it balances memorization and non-memorization. So I do think, I mean, if you take a calculus class, you should be learning calculus. And I mean, I think you are, right? I don't, I'm not insinuating anything here, but I mean, in the class or take home stuff, you can't, you don't have to memorize anything, at least in theory. You can just look everything up. And I mean, very basic techniques, like you substitution and relatively simple integration by parts problems, those are techniques that I think you ought to just know, to not have to look up. Like if you see x e to the x squared dx, I would not want people saying, well, I passed Dr. Moses's calculus class, um, I don't know how to do this, but maybe, maybe if I look in my textbook, I can figure it out. I want this to be a pretty immediate, this is U substitution. And I mean, similarly with something like X E to the X. I'd like you to look at that and I'd like you to say, well, this is a product, X becomes simple if we differentiate it. 
e to the x is easy to integrate. This is kind of a classic arms problem. But then you get into things like trig substitution, and it's like, that's really specialized. I think making students memorize the substitutions and then be able to use them under time pressure is a bit unkind. I don't think it's something you need to know off the top of your head to be able to say that you know calculus. So having multiple sort of evaluations is trying to balance that. Um, we can have kind of, I won't say easy, but we can have straightforward, relatively straightforward problems in the class. And then maybe the more um, complicated stuff, the more time consuming stuff, partial fractions where you have to find all of these constants can be shunted into a less time intensive environment. So, I mean, I don't know if, if that convinces you, but it's at least my logic here, at least part of my logic. Homework. I think some of you will think this is bad news because, I mean, given the opportunity, I gave students the opportunity, okay, you can keep taking the quizzes or you can start doing stuff pencil and paper and I'm submitting it that way. I think I've had do people do pencil and paper? So it seems like the classes do prefer the quizzes. Unfortunately, we are getting to material that cannot be assessed using Canvas's assessment features. I mean, we're getting to the, um, to the point where I really need to see your work. Because I mean, for like, five or so sections. The homework is all going to be, does this, I mean, this won't be very meaningful at the moment, but it will be, does this converge or does this diverge? So, I mean, as far as the actual answers, if I gave you, if I gave you, is the way I'd be, I've been doing it. It would all be multiple choice and we'd have just these two answers repeated over and over again. And I, that's not sufficient. What, what I need to see is your work. I need to see, okay, do you think this thing converges? But why do you think it converges? Why doesn't it diverge? And Canvas is not equipped for math classes for students to show their work. I mean, there are you can go on Canvas and enter math, but it's a very slow process. You know, click the addition symbol, type some stuff, click the less than or equal to symbol. Um, it's just ultimately not very well adapted for this kind of assessment. So um, that's starting this week, I believe. If um, 10.1 will be a traditional quiz, but I believe 10.2 will be pencil and paper, and then onwards, maybe for the rest of the class, maybe once we hit chapter 11, we'll be able to go back to quizzes, but for the immediate future. And again, it's 
it's unfortunate. I mean, in the sense that I don't think most students want to submit stuff, pencil and paper, but um, but it, it's necessitated by by the by the material we're covering. I spent spring break on this and couldn't find any good alternative. So there's our admin out of the way. Um, does anybody have questions just about the admin, about the test Thursday, about the how the homework is being submitted. 